Good morning, time for traffic and weather together. I'm meteorologist Liz Horton, and we're joining you here with the latest update on Tropical Storm Nate. So this is the five o'clock advisory, the latest data in from the National Hurricane Center. Winds are still sitting at 45 miles per hour. It's about 275 miles south southeast of Cozumel. Still moving north northwest around 14 miles per hour. Despite the fact that it's had quite a bit of land interaction uh, across the past 12 or 15 hours, it still remains a pretty strong tropical storm. It is expected to strengthen in the coming days, as you can see, pushing it towards. Cozumel as we head through tonight and then overnight into Saturday and Sunday we'll watch as it marches straight to the north. So right now the National Hurricane Center has it as a category one hurricane with those hurricane force winds impacting somewhere here between let's say Bic uh, Biloxi, uh, New Orleans, all the way over here to the east. You can see just a bit of a cone here but it's starting to shrink and it does look like it will be a category one hurricane as it races on to the north here in the center of the Gulf of Mexico. So this will likely happen over Overnight Saturday into early Sunday morning before it continues to move off to the north northeast and dissipates very quickly once it gets all that land interaction here with the continental U.S. But certainly going to be a storm that people there are going to have to watch, and we can certainly see quite a bit of wind speed problems with that. So part of the reason the forecast track is shrinking is because almost all these models once again are becoming very consistent here with exactly where landfall will be. Good news to us that we likely won't see too many impacts from that in a bad way. In fact, we'll likely see sinking. And drying air as we head into Saturday, Sunday on the back side of that. But these poor folks here are dealing with hurricane watches basically from Morgan City all the way over towards Biloxi. And you can see Pensacola dealing with a tropical storm watch. So certainly a whole lot going on out there. Storm surge warnings not in place yet. Just storm surge watches now. But these will likely turn to warnings as we head into the next few hours. And of course, you can see the broad picture of what's going on here is Nate. And look here, we still have quite a bit of moisture over the state of Florida as well. An earlier wave pushed through yesterday brought us tremendous amounts of rain, heavy downpours. Downpours that's going to be going away. Instead, we still have the a coastal flood advisory, and that will continue here. We'll likely see that, especially with high tide as they come in today. Overall, not seeing a tremendous amount of rain this morning, but that certainly will be changing into the afternoon with showers and storms likely. Temperatures in the lower 80s across the board, and they'll likely stay that way at least through the next couple of hours before warming up to near 88 this afternoon. Sun clouds and scattered storms. Winds from the southeast between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Mariners, not too much to worry about. Uh, seas 2 to 4 feet, a moderate chop on the bays, but no advisories for you. Overnight tonight, a few passing storms, otherwise warm and humid, 77 degrees. And yes, as we head through the coming days, we will see a drying trend, but it's going to take a bit to get here. You'll notice here as we go into Saturday, those sun and storms continue, and we'll likely see that at least through most of the day on Sunday. By Sunday evening, though, dry. Higher air moves in, and looky there, less shower activity finally by the start of next week.